Hello YouTube, it's been a while. Um, this is just a short video. Um, I've been asked to do this by Robert Bo Columbine um, for the boys at Foyer's Sharma Auto in Senegal, West Africa. He sent me a question and they asked me, what does it take to be a good mechanic? So, first of all, I'll say, I'm, I know you guys, um, French is your national language. So I'll try and keep my English slow and understandable so that you can get some subtitles on this. So, what does it take to be a good mechanic or technician? First of all, it takes passion. You actually have to want to do the job. You want to be the best that you can possibly be. It takes passion, it takes dedication, it takes long hours of learning, lots of frustration so if you decide to travel down this path be the best that you could possibly be and good luck with that so the first thing i would say really is um, the fundamentals you have to you have to get a really really good understanding of the fundamentals the basics such as ohm's law boyle's law how things go together, how things fit together, um, using the right tool for the right job. Although, having worked in Africa for many years, I understand that a lot of the time the right tool isn't available and then you have to make do. It's about taking care of your tools, taking care of your work environment, working tidily, cleanly and safely. It's about understanding the, the safety aspects when you're working with chemicals and fluids and fuel. It's about taking care of your customer, addressing your customer's needs. What is the concern for your customer? Why is the car in your garage? If you take care of your customer, the job and your business will take care of the rest of it. It's about having pride in how you work, being clean and tidy taking care of the vehicle, not scratching the paintwork. It's about listening to the people that are trying to mentor you, that are teaching you. It's about asking questions. If you don't understand something, ask a question. If you still don't understand, ask again in a different way. But again, the most important thing for me is the fundamentals, learning the basics, how things fit together, how things react, the laws of physics, how do they interact with the, with the things that are using um, leverage, torque, fluid dynamic pressures, um, gas flow, all that sort of thing. But most of all, if you don't understand something, ask. Read a book, use Google, use the internet. There's a massive amount of information out there just one hour a day is all it takes to be the difference between being a mediocre mechanic that fires parts at things and a brilliant technician that really understands how a car works and how everything fits together. So all I'll say is the guys at Foyer's Shammer Auto and anybody else who's watching have pride in what you do, work safely, cleanly and tidily and good luck in your endeavours. Thanks for watching.